Hello, hello, my forget me nots. Sleeping lady here, ASMR. It is the morning. I just woke up about 30 minutes ago. So delightful. Feels good. I made my coffee. My coffee is still hot. So go ahead, grab a cup of coffee favorite drink water some cookies and I'm gonna have that first sip of coffee I am going to dive in to simple and sweet moments with God. Sweet and simple moments with God. just going to shuffle or let's start from the beginning how precious are your thoughts about me oh god they cannot be numbered i can't even count them they outnumber the grains of sand. Psalms 139, verses 17 through 18. My hope and prayer is that we will all know, grow in Christ in the sweet days ahead. His, Kim. BSSYP, be sweet and say your prayers. Sweet Pea, I know it is not fashionable to talk about yourself, but it is in the spirit of Psalm chapter 66, verses 16. His spirit, that I share these simple devotions with you. Come and listen, all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he did for me. This calls for a sip of coffee. Now, sweet tooth for God's word. How sweet your words taste to me. They are sweeter than honey. Psalm chapter 119 verse 103. I have a confession to make. I have a big sweet tooth. If I had to point a finger at the culprit, I'd have a donut hanging there. Yes, it's true. Donuts are to blame. When I was growing up, our family went to the beach every summer and in the morning and my early bird dad would go to the local donut shop and buy fresh ones hot out of the conveyor belt for us. It was really a sweet, special delivery. <laughs> When we'd get home from a vacation, we would beg mama to make homemade donuts. She obliged us on a regular basis by 
deep frying canned biscuits. She used a plastic bottle cap as her donut hole cutter. We could choose chocolate or vanilla icing for her homemade delicacies and she would slather it on and we would scarf them down. My mom fried the donuts holes too, which were my favorite because I could dip them in icing, covering the entire pastry. I'm not a donut a day person anymore, but every now and then I buy the little powdered sugar donuts to go with coffee and Bible in the morning. <coughs> Excuse me. In the same way I developed a craving for donuts, my sweet tooth for God's word developed by repetition. When I actually began to read the Bible on a daily basis, his words became sweeter and sweeter as I interacted with him each day through its pages. As humans, we long for food that tastes good to us. We crave things that are pleasing to the taste flavors we can savor for a while and we love our sweets in bible times honey was the sweetest substance on earth in today's verse from psalm chapter 119 the psalmist craved the sweets of the lord's promise and instructions in fact for 176 of verses he cannot say enough about the value of god's word enjoy your sweet time with the lord indulging daily his word provides a sweet sustenance you and i cannot live without Relish the sweetness of God's word. Read Psalm 119 and write down a verse or two that speak to your heart. That's perfect. I even forgot that was the first in this sweet and simple moments with God. And speaking of which, we are having some cookies this morning and some coffee. Oh, the mundane riches of life. So, we are going to base that off of today, the morning today. I'll go ahead and put this aside. because it makes really nice noises and I'd love to tie it in with what that said just there perfect trust in the Lord with all your heart I found this treasure at a thrift shop I'm really thinking of doing my journaling again with my testimonies, 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 and having them in. This is my daughter. She's so cute. She wrote in here, and these are all my daughters studying. I don't know where she got them from, but she did write a list of verses from the Bible. Beautiful. That's so sweet. But I was deciding to do journaling probably after this Bible study. Mini petite, I don't know what that says, um, 
But my daughter gave me this for my birthday last year, the Happy Planner. And there's just lots of stickers. I might use some of these for the Bible, for this morning's Bible study. this container of highlighters and those fine lined markers slash pens. Now, I am going to Psalms. To start with Psalms chapter 1. Although we did read in here that it was Psalm 119 verse 103, but we will get back to that after we re read the first chapter because it's nice, simple, short, and sweet. to the Psalter. P-S-A-L-T-E-R. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doeth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judge in the judgment, not nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. The Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. And he shall be like a tree by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. in Psalms 119 verses 
One, oh, three. How sweet are thy words unto my taste. Ye sweeter than honey to my mouth.
next time.